Well, just a couple weeks ago, an exhibition opened up at Santa Fe showcasing the works of sculptor James Sher Searles. Excuse me. You can see his works through the month into August. Here with more on this and how big of a deal this really is is Wade Wilson. It's his gallery where Searles works are on display. Wade, good morning. It's good to see good you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Okay, for folks who don't know, sculptor James Searles, how big of a deal is he? He's a very big deal. Uh, James Searles is in collections across the globe, and some of the most significant include, significant include the Museum of Modern Art, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the wow. Guggenheim, uh, the wow. National Gallery, LA County, the list goes on and on. And I have a show of his work at my gallery, Wade Wilson Art Santa Fe, up until August 2nd, but tomorrow we launch Art Fest at the Santa Fe University of Art and Design, and there are six monumental sculptures on their grounds uh, against the backdrop of that great Luis uh, Baragona architecture. It's fantastic. Okay, so how do you get a guy like James Searles, who's world renowned, has stuff in the Guggenheim and the Metropolitan Museum of Art and all that, to get stuff in your gallery up in Santa Fe? It's been a long road. Our friendship started in 1984. I was a kid and I was reviewing a show for the Fort Worth Star Telegram when I was in grad school at TCU, and Searles was curating it. And we became friends. He called me a couple years ago and said, Wilson, it's Searles. You have a gallery in Santa Fe. I want to show. And he doesn't usually show in galleries. He no, he left all his museums. galleries about five years ago. He has an agent that represents him, Linda Clark, whom I'm partnering with on this exhibit. And we've just watched this evolve into a wonderful citywide event in Santa Fe. Okay, this is a real treat. You brought one of the pieces here with you today. Can you describe this? Can you talk about it? Uh, you know, this is one of James's uh, sort of signature motifs, uh, the, the flower with the uh, sort of uh, third eye chakra and the leaves. Mm -hmm. It's a mix of bronze and stainless steel. Yeah. Sculpted out of his studio. He's from Texas originally, grew up in East Texas, but he went to Cranbrook uh, University for his grad, grad school, and he lives in Colorado in, uh, in the hills above Aspen. So it's a pretty picturesque place. Yeah. And it inspires wide. him every day. Uh, I can see why. This is just gorgeous. I love sculptures when it comes to art. This is also for sale. If you got oh, yeah. a little bit of extra cash. James Searles is a major, major <laughs> player on the uh, on the scene. And at 73, his collection list is vast. And these things are pricey. But we're certainly willing to work with anybody who wants one. Uh, gotcha. These are some of the other ones that are all up in Santa Fe. Yes, and this is a photograph of my gallery. And uh, the, other, the outdoor scenes were the monumental pieces at the Santa Fe University of Art and Design, which will be on view through mid-September. OK, folks want to go check this out. They pay to get in, or is it free? It's or? free. You go check all this out. You bet. Okay, very cool. So here are the details. Now through August 10th, Santa Fe University Art and Design. You can also find more at Wade Wilson. We have a link to his website for his gallery. Go to casa.com. Click on the blog. Everything is there. I, got I mean, if I had $40,000 sitting around, um, I'd get this. This would be cool. This would be really cool in the living room. It's a great legacy. It, it is a great you piece. Um, it's a real treat. To have his stuff here in New Mexico. It in certainly gallery. is, and I'm so pleased to be able to present it. And uh, working with James Rolls is a great honor. Okay, we're so fortunate to have galleries, artists here in New Mexico. Wade, good to see you. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank you, sir. In. Thanks for